Good morning. Somebody asked for an another example um, about finding the x-intercepts with the quadratic formula. So I'm going to do that, but I also thought I might go through and, and graph this whole thing and give you another example for those of you who need it. All right, so here we go. Vertex, negative x equals negative b over 2a. So remember a is 1, b is negative 8, c is 14. So negative b is going to be positive 8 over 2 times 1. That's 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So my vertex is 4 comma something. The axis of symmetry, remember that's the equation of a line. It's x equals 4. Now to backtrack and find the y value of the vertex, I'm putting 4 in for x. So here we go. So that's going to be 16 minus 32 plus 14. So 16 minus 32, that's going to be negative 16. And then plus 14, that's going to be a negative 2. So that's my vertex. Um, because A is positive, this is opening up. And because it's opening up, I have a min at my vertex of 4, negative 2. The domain is all reals because I can put any number in for x and get an answer. Your range, because it is opening up, remember, okay, that's y is greater than or equal to the y value of your vertex. Um, the y-intercept, that's the same value as your c. My c is 14, so my y-intercept is 0, 14. And now to answer this person's question about the x-intercept. So you're putting 0 in for y always. And so if you could, you could try to factor this. But can't find factors of 14 that add to negative 8. So you either need to do completing the square or quadratic formula. So here we go. x equals negative b. It's going to be positive 8 plus or minus the square root of quantity negative 8 squared minus 4 a C all over 2 times A. So the denominator is going to be 2. Inside here, you're going to get 64 minus 4 times 14. So it's going to be 8. You can go ahead and simplify this if you'd like, but remember, we're just trying to find what these are as a decimal. So in your calculator, Remember, one of these numbers is 8 plus root 8 divided by 2. The other one's 8 minus root 8 divided by 2. So here, let me show people what I'm doing. So for this first one here, again, you don't need to have a graphing calculator. but you, So you don't mess up with the dividing. Why don't you type in whatever type of calculator you're using. First, type in your numerator, 8 plus root 8. Hit Enter, and then hit Divide by 2. So that first x-intercept is 5.41, we'll say. Okay, and then your other one, again, you're going to do 8 minus the square root of 8. So do that numerator, and then hit divide by 2. That's 2.59. So remember, these are two different x-intercepts, so if I were to write each as an ordered pair, that first x-intercept is at 5.410. And this one is at 2.590. Okay, so let's make the graph. I noticed that my y-intercept was at 14, so I think I'm going to make my y go by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, just so I can actually fit it on. I can still make the x's go by 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the vertex was at 4, negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. The axis of symmetry, just to have that on there. The imaginary vertical line, that acts as the reflection line. The y-intercept is at 0, 14. Okay, so remember that's 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So that means I have to be at 8, because that's 4 away on the other side. 5, 6, 7, 8. So the point 8, 14, just to label that is the reflection of your, I know that doesn't look very good because I'm, I'm not using graph paper, um, <laughs> but 
that is what it should look like there. Sorry, I was just double checking in my head. Okay, now your x-intercept. So 5.41, I'm going to plot where that approximately is. So here's 4, 5. Again, it's very approximate. And your other one was at 2.59. So 2.59. And this one, you don't have to make a table because you have your two x-intercepts. You have your y-intercept that you're able to reflect. And you have your vertex, so you have your five points. And whoops. There we go.